Trinidad and Tobago has a long and successful history in the sport of cricket. From the classy batting of Larry Gomes, the speed of Wes Hall and the skill of Rowan Canhai, all the way to recent stars like world record holder Brian Lara, top order rock Darren Ganga and T20 superstar Dwayne Bravo. And there's little wonder why it's so important to its people, both at home and in Canada. Cricket is part of our, our national, it's one of our national sports. It's part of the psyche of the of the young people, especially in Trinidad and Tobago, and um, it's it's very the, the, the national diaspora here in Canada are very actively involved in sports and especially cricket. The city of Toronto has become a modern hub for multiculturalism, with TNT nationals making up a large percentage of the Caribbean influx. Well, there is a lot of um, movement between the nationals. The their families are there in Trinidad. Um, those who have decided to make Canada their home, um, they, they still maintain their link, their cultural heritage, and, and so it's, it's uh, symbolic that we keep this network together. Now, in its third year, the Independence Day Cricket Classic is growing in stature. Last year's event featuring some of the best fielding efforts ever seen in Canada. Oh, oh what, what an catch. incredible catch. Unbelievable catch at first slip, diving behind the keeper. An incredible piece of work. This one up in the air, and this well, should be the end of the innings, Danny. Well, we know who's settling under it. Oh, oh what an unbelievable oh, catch. Oh, my goodness, Danny Brassard, I cannot oh. believe it. I've never seen anything quite like that. And there was no one more thrilled with the quality of the event than Dr. Vidya. A distinct success, definitely a success. It brought all the um, nationals together. And as a matter of fact, last year we added the Aghanis team. So it brought all our CARICOM nationals here in Toronto together in friendship and sports. It wasn't just the on-field fireworks that grabbed her attention. A new initiative in the sport also had people talking. Each team must have a female um, player. And so it's encouraging young women to be active in the sports and you know, to recognize their input in cricket. This year, we'll see Jamaica and Guyana return to take on the might of Trinidad and Tobago, the 52nd Independence Day celebration taking place on August 31st. For Caribbean cricket fans unsure on how to celebrate the famous date, University of Toronto Scarborough campus is undoubtedly the place to be. We have a fantastic day, excitement. It's first class cricket from my last two years experience. A jolly good time between the not only the Trinidadian and Tobagonian nationals, but between the Jamaicans as well as the Guyanese who were present last year. It's high standard of cricket and f lots of entertainment. This has been Josh McLean reporting.